Hi there, and welcome to episode three of The Guaranteed Way to Lose Weight. My name is Alan Aaron Katz, and this is Teddy. Teddy, do you want to say hi? That's good. Today I'm going to be talking about the dream that changed my life. On January 1st, I weighed 355 pounds. Today I am very excited to announce that I am now down 90 pounds. 90 pounds in six and a half months, down 14 inches. And Teddy, you weigh about the same, is that correct? Yes, yes, I thought so. Anyways, <clears throat> so, I was extremely unhappy. And every night I used to kind of beg myself to wake up in the morning and figure it all out and lose weight. And I couldn't do it. And one day I'm having a dream. Barely knew I was having a dream, but I was having a dream. And I heard three words. And they were three words I didn't want to hear. They're not very romantic. It's not like God was speaking to me, or maybe it was. Who knows? You've had enough? Whoa! We just had an earthquake! Oh my God. Teddy, I'm going to say goodbye to Teddy. Teddy, say goodbye. Sorry about that. Anyways. So I had this dream, and... The three words were, and I'll be honest with you, I've been very hesitant to share these three words. And the reason is, is because every time someone comes up to me and says, Alan, how, how, have, you, how have you lost your weight so quickly? And, and for some people, six and a half months to lose 90 pounds is quick. Uh, I think it is. Uh, I tell them the three words and, and they just look at me and they go, I can't do that. What were the three words? count your calories well my reaction was the same as everybody else count your calories I just wasn't into it but I woke up I was so unhappy January 1st was coming around I really wanted to start doing something about my weight and I just googled the word the words count my calories and came up with like 5,000 different sites where you could count your calories I just picked the first one I saw it was called uh, mycaloriecounter.com my-calorie-counter.com and I just signed up and it was just a site it was free and they provided a place where I could look up all the calorie counts for food and I figured you know I'm gonna try it counting your calories is for only for people who really really want to lose weight because I gotta admit it's hard work if you go on the internet to mycaloriecounter.com and you look up Alan Aaron Katz you'll see I have every single piece of food I've eaten in six and a half months there now there were other things involved also that were very exciting at that site and I'm sure there's other sites that provide uh, similar services I looked up how many calories a day did I have to eat to maintain six feet 355 pounds and the number was somewhere around 43, 4,400 calories a day. That meant I was eating that much, if not more, because I was gaining weight at the time. Now, you take off 500 calories every day for a week, and that means you lose one pound a week. Well, let's just round it off to 4,500 calories. I figured, you know, if I aim for 3,000 calories, I'm going to lose weight. And that should be easy to do. I even looked up how much, if I was only like 25 pounds overweight, how many calories a day would I have to eat? And it was something like 2,900 a day to be slightly overweight. For me, slightly overweight. And I'm not saying for anybody else. And so uh, I looked it up and I realized if I could eat in the 2000s, 2,500, 2,600 calories a day, I was going to lose weight. Well, here's something that I did not expect there's this kind of biofeedback that takes place the first few days I was averaging about 2400 calories a day the weight came off I lost 25 pounds in the first month 25 pounds eating 2400 calories a day I worked out all so that's another episode and I began to notice you know if I eat this I'm gonna to have to write down this many calories but if I eat something else 
it's going to be less calories. It was instantaneous feedback. I would go on the site three or four times a day. Now, on days when I can't do it, I write it all down. But right now, if you look it up on the internet, I'm averaging about 1,900 calories a day. I'm guessing that it's probably closer to 2,000 and there's 100 calories slipping in there. I, I, I don't know why. That's just kind of how I think about it. And the weight has been coming off. It looks like again this month I'm going to lose eight or nine pounds. Uh, one day I'll give you the whole list. It was it went 25 the first month, 16 the second month, 13 the third month, and then every month since then it's been eight to 11 pounds. It's been great. So that's the magic words. Count your calories. Now there's a lot more to it than that. Okay? There's this incredible uh, drink I've been making twice a day that keeps me full, makes me feel healthy, makes me feel good. I've been taking vitamins. I have a spiritual concept that I'm going to tell you about in the next episode that thematically captures exactly the best way to approach the psychological issue of losing weight. I don't know, you know, I'm a single dad. I'm lonely sometimes. At 3.55, I couldn't get a date. It's 90 pounds. I'm suddenly not invisible anymore. People notice me. They're complimenting me. Women are saying nice things to me. It's been really great. Think about it. Count your calories.